Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at Active Primary 3 and in particular the use of restrictions to affect how an object is allowed to move. This is a really useful tool to use when you're making interactive resources for the children to use on the board. Let me give you one example. I'm going to create a number line with a draggable arrow. I'll start by drawing some lines on my board. And then I'll label the ends with question marks. And then finally, I'm going to select an arrow from my shapes resource. So I want the children to come to the board and to drag the arrow left or right. Now the problem I've got is when the children drag the arrow, they're inevitably going to drag it off the number line. So I want to use a restriction to change the way this arrow can move. To do this, I need to make sure I'm in design mode, which I already am. And then I'm going to double click on my arrow and choose properties. From the window that appears, I can choose the restrictions option, and I've got a number of options here where I can affect how this arrow is allowed to move. So for starters, I'm going to say that it's not allowed to be rotated. I'm then going to say that it can only move horizontally, and finally, that it cannot be resized. So now when I come out of design mode, you'll notice that when I drag my arrow, it only moves horizontally. Wherever I try and position the arrow on the screen, it will only move in a left and right direction. So that's really useful for working with number lines, but as you can see, I can still drag it off to the left of the number line. So to solve that problem, I'm going to use another object to block the arrow, to effectively stop it moving beyond the endpoint. So I'm going to drag a square onto the end of my number line, and I'm going to double click on the square and go to properties. From the restrictions menu, I can select the can block option. And what this will do is it will stop the arrow moving beyond the number line. I'm just going to move the square to the left slightly so that we've got room for the arrow head to slide beyond the end of the line. I need another one of these squares on the right hand side of my number line, so I'm actually going to duplicate that first square. So I'll double click on it and select the duplicate option and then drag that to the right of my number line. I'm just going to test how that works by coming out of design mode and dragging my arrow to the left and as you can see it's stopping and then to the right the same there. I just need to line those squares up a little bit better just to make sure that they're exactly in the right place. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now I don't really want a couple of red squares either side of my number line, so I'm going to use the fill tool to color those in white, and then they're effectively hidden. And now when the children drag the arrow along my number line, as you can see, it's not going beyond the ends. So that's how we can use restrictions to affect the way an object is allowed to move on our screen. Let me give you another example of how we might use restrictions to affect the way an arrow could move. I'm going to draw a circular scale onto my screen, and then I'm going to use another arrow from my shapes menu. And what I want the children to do is to drag the arrow to different positions along this scale. Now the problem we've got if I come out of design mode is when the children rotate this arrow, it rotates around the center point, effectively rotating around this point here, whereas I really want it to be rotated around the base of the arrow. But we can fix that by using restrictions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into design mode, double click on my arrow and select properties. From the restrictions menu, I can select a rotation point. This is the point around which the shape will be rotated. So I'm going to select other place. And then what I have to do is click on the part of the arrow that I want it to rotate around. It's a little bit fiddly to do, but I'm going to click right at the base just there. Now I'll click on OK. We'll come out of design mode, and when I select my arrow, you'll see that it's now rotating around the base of the arrow. Now as you can see, my arc is a little bit too wide, so I'm just going to narrow that down a bit by clicking there and then drawing the edges in slightly. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, not too bad. So there we go, that's how we can use restrictions to affect the movement of an object on the screen. This is really useful when we're creating interactive resources for the children to use at the board. Thanks very much for watching.